it's going well. Didn't ding. It didn't ding. Why don't you ding? <laughs> Hey, Lego and space fans, we got a really cool special set today. The brand new Lego idea set, Women of NASA. Super so excited. excited. This is a great set. For sale. Thank you, Lego, for sending us this so we can build it, check it out, share it with you guys. And uh, I even got dressed up for the occasion. I got dressed up for the occasion. Oh, is it? She's wearing a NASA hat. It's hard you to see. You may not be able to see because we have fantastic cameras here at Bricknerd, but it see, is my NASA it, hat. It is NASA. It came from Kennedy Space Center. Kennedy Space Center. We visited there. It was nice. It was very cool. Okay. Uh, we've got two viewers already. The uh, chat and, uh, well, the Hangout has started. If you go to the Facebook page, you can uh, join us here and interact in real time. If you interact with us on Facebook, it won't be quite as um, up to the minute. We have to kind of toggle back and forth to get to that. Yeah, it's always a little slow. Let's see if it's uh, going on here. Appears to be. I'll mute it. Just got to wait for the app. Sandro but says hello. Thanks for joining us, and we're gonna get building. Yes, yeah. We are. So I'm excited. This is a cool set um, featuring, and I'm sorry that I have to read them. I haven't memorized who else involved in the set, um, but featuring Nancy Grace Roman, Margaret Hamilton, Sally Ride, and Mae Jemison. So I got the scissors. What? You remember the scissors? Yes. Fantastic. They're, they're letting me use sharp objects again. <laughs> I bet somebody comes to claim this pretty quick though. <laughs> Get an orderly back in here. I'll surrender these. And then, yes, this is a cheesy Halloween costume, but I did make it even more better by attaching some little extra little doodickies on here. And I made a net ring. Net ring is like the, the interface for the helmet. I made it out of a bucket. And sometimes we're all just still five. And would like to be astronauts when we grow up, even when we know we can't. I think everybody knows that I never grew up. I never well, will. You got older, chronologically. Yeah. Time passes. I can't stop that, but I'm not going to grow up. Uh, there's no numbered bags. We got the typical uh, kind of sturdy packaging from from the Lego Idea set. You know, meant to kind of stick around. We got a cool book. Cool book. Have all the cool information. I in think the front so. And everything. It does. Yes. That's awesome. So it's got information about everyone who's featured in this set. Ooh, That's cool. Little bios. Excellent. Very cool. And about the designer. Maya Weinstock. Maya Weinstock. Like and some Lego designers that worked with her. Um, also women, Gemma and Marie. So very cool to see more women involved in Lego as well as science. So. Yes. Girl power. Okay. So it's not a huge set. This probably won't take long. We'll we'll it'll be drug out a little bit, I'm sure, by us talking on the camera and me doing dumb things. But uh, this is cool. Uh, let's see. Ed has joined us. Hey, Ed. Good to see you again. Oh, I love Sabbath. her hair. Excellent. It's very cool. We're putting together all of our mini figs. Now. All of our mini figs. Collect them all here. There's a fair amount of custom printing in the set. Hey, check it out. Pumpkin suit. <laughs> Green glasses. So all the faces are different. It's awesome. Do they have two-sided faces? Um, some do. This one does. I didn't look to see if they all do. Um, yes, apparently they all do. Mm. 
Me. But all of them, two-sided, happy faces. None of those stern, lost in concentration, I'm thinking, don't bother me now faces. Oh, That's never the mind. face of a woman who's dealing with a man at the moment. <laughs> yes, it is. I might have lied about that smiley happy. They're all. <laughs> Indeed. We'll give her the happy look, though. It got retweeted by Leo Ideas. Cool. And I will silence my watch <laughs> for the build. I just realized that my phone's in my pocket. Again? Again. Did you not learn the first time? I did not. Yeah. Funny story. When I took that picture <laughs> about an hour ago, uh, I got all dressed up to take the picture, but I was going to go. We were heading to Starbucks. So I got dressed and I got off, took it off. Again. But as soon as I got all dressed up and ready to go, I was holding the box. I went to get my camera, my phone. It's in my pocket under the jumpsuit. I am not a smart man. Not today. Sorry. Right. Right. Today it's all about the ladies. That's right. So our first figure is Nancy Grace. Let's go in and take a peek at that. Um, camera or not <laughs> really really okay the camera does not work so I'll be leaning over and shoving this thing in your face there we go hopefully it'll focus on it it's not focusing on it Oh, and the whole build has started to crash and burn. Oh, we just went off the rails. So she's custom printed, uh, torsos printed, both sides. And she's got a two-sided head. One they all with, do. A, with a biggie smile, big smile, and one with uh, still smiling, but not quite as smiling, because she had to deal with a man. <laughs> Who's up next? May Jameson. Here's her. Her helmet. Oh. She's got a two-sided printing on her pumpkin suit there. Two-sided printing on her face. A smile and a big smile. More to see. Sorry about that. And she's also got a helmet. Because she's an astronaut. She's an astronaut. This woman has been to space and is smarter than you and me put together. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And next up, the first woman in space is Sally Ride. She's got the old school blue flight suit printed both sides. And she does have a smile on one side and a slightly more stern look on the other. Because let's face it, going to space is stressful. I would think so. And last up is Margaret Hamilton. Also, I believe, kind of known as the godmother of code. It's computer hacking and computer code writing. She's got, uh, she's the only one with the printed legs, huh? She's yes. got printed legs. So she's been wearing a dress and some uh, fashionable flats. She's got two-sided printing on her hair, on her head, a smile, and a bigger smile. And I think she's pretty much responsible for getting the men to the moon because without her programming in the computer, uh, things just wouldn't have happened. There'd be a whole lot of... Uh, Did you want to read that before we start spouting off facts that we may not... No, I have to kind of know this. Okay. Yeah. There'd be a lot of... of men with slide rules if uh, she had kind of come up with the first computer. This watch probably has 17,000 times the computing power of the uh, computer that guided the first moon mission. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You got all those steps? Okay. I didn't say yes. Okay, it doesn't matter because I... 
I actually wanted to go back and read this. I know it's not exciting for all of you to watch me read, but. Oh, sure enough, look at that. I have always been a big fan of NASA and the space program. My first childhood memory, literally an infant, I am a baby sitting on my dad's lap. And we were watching one of the Apollo missions, probably in 1969. I don't know exactly which one it was. Yeah, probably about then. Somewhere mid-1969, whatever Apollo mission happened about then, that was... Uh, I was watching it live with my dad as a baby, probably wearing diapers on his lap. There was so much excitement in the room that still burned into my skull. Pretty amazing. That was pretty amazing. Okay, where are we at? Right there. Right there. So it looks like we're building the shuttle first, maybe? Maybe. Can't tell. Uh, no, we're building this. Oh, over here. Yes. We're building Margaret Hamilton. Uh, so two by four, two by two. Two by two. Two by three. Well, there's a two two by two also. Sorry, down there. Oh, I didn't see that. And another two by three. You're very um, swooshy. It's a good thing the microphone's not here. Yes, because you're very swooshy. Yes, okay. I'm wearing a lot of uh, shower curtains. Hmm. What are you looking for? The 2 by 3 the dark gray. That one. There's only 200 pieces here. You would think. It never gets any easier. Mm -hmm. This is why you know parts out. Right. We never know. Ah, found it. Yay! I love these little display stands that have kind of a representation of what they are known for. Yeah, this is cool. Um, very cool. Our viewers are very quiet. Oh, we're a little quiet this morning. It's a little early to be doing a live build for us. It makes me wonder if there's something else wrong now. Oh. Things have gone wrong before. Yes. That's all right be up for people to watch later. Now what are you looking for? The other one of these. The other one of what? It's a one by two with a bar. Yes. Oh, exactly like that. Hmm. Identical to it in fact. Very cool. Or oh, are you gathering parts <laughs> I was trying. I Maybe I'll stop notice. now. No, don't stop. Another fun fact is we live in the shadow of Vandenberg Air Force Base, which is the West Coast Space Launch Center. Home of the 30th Space Wing. And, uh, well, I think it was, was it yesterday or the day before? Halloween. Halloween, there was a launch right here. Although, if you weren't out looking for it right when it happened and caught it in the two second window between the ground and the fog that was right there, uh, you missed it. Yeah. You heard a rumble, you went outside and saw and nothing. It's too late. I do hope it's still going okay. Keep building. I'm going to double check everything's running. Seems to be okay. Hey, Ed or uh, Dan, give us a test message in chat to see if it's working. You know how Tommy gets a little concerned. Outgoing worked. 
they're not really there. We're just on in the background. They've got to walk across the room, over the boxes. Right. This live bill brought to you by Starbucks. Thank you. Starbucks. They're not really sponsoring. <laughs> Starbucks, really. because sugar and caffeine don't happen naturally inside <laughs> the human right. body. So, did you finish this step? Yes. Okay. That one's going to go. Oh, look at that. There's a go. Oh, it doesn't yet. I have to put this on the bottom. And then one of these. And then two of those. I shouldn't have worn like bell bottom sleeves today. It's all right. I didn't think about that. You didn't have a spacesuit that you could wear? I did not. I did not. Nobody got me a spacesuit. Next time. Thank you. Welcome. There we go. See, it's working. Yeah, it's working. That's a cool connection. Two of those. Is that black or is that dark gray? Dark gray. Dark gray. And one by one. That is. What's your earliest space memory? old I was. My dad was the photo officer for the Air Force Base. And so he worked with um, tracking equipment out there to track all of the launches. So I remember being really little and being able to climb around on the big cine sextant tracking. Um, I don't know exactly what they are, but in order to track those, those launches and photograph them. We so we so always fun. had a countdown radio at our house for all of the launches so that we could be out in time so we didn't miss it like we did the other day. Yep. When the uh, space shuttle was going to launch off the west coast here, her dad was in charge of placing all the cameras for the launch. So it's, somewhere we have this really cool binder that's like a, all these reference pictures for where things are going to be when the, uh, the Enterprise... Yeah. Who's here for the uh, for the mock-ups? I don't remember. I don't remember either. I remember being in high school and sitting back against the wall, glancing up, and uh, going, saying to my friends, "Oh, it's the space shuttle!" And sure enough, right there, flying over our head was a space shuttle attached to the top of the 747 flying in to, for its tests. And yeah, stuff. We were out at the airfield the day that came in. That was really cool. Um, they had shortened all of the road signs, remember, yeah. so that they could transport it um, out on base between the airfield and the mate demate facility. So it, everything was lowered so it would pass over the top of the signs. Are you counting how many of those you're doing? Sort of. Okay. Yes. Okay. I believe one left here. Yes. And we've got a giant pile. Is that all centered? I think it is. It's just all stacked like that. Right. A little coat rack. That's what that is. Yeah, I'm a little shuffy. Is that a good word? Yes. Check there's nothing else going on here. There's the coat rack. So we've got a large we're not, stack of programming. We're not done yet. I know. Yeah. A cute little coat rack. Okay, but there's only like one more step. But it's still progress. There you go. One more step. Oh, I guess we don't get to put her on till the, till the end. I guess. Okay. She's got her name. Oh, no, you put her on now. Oh, okay. Here. 
at Margaret. There she is. Very cool. I was excited to see that this was one of the best-selling sets already. Yes, it is hugely popular. Everyone's really digging it. I think it's partially because of the price point. A lot of the Lego idea sets recently and a lot of Lego sets in general tend to be a little expensive. But this one is a reasonably priced and, and a nice size. It's a, you know, just a cool little package of awesome. Now what are we building? I miss the space shuttle. I know. That I is know. warped. This plate is a little not flat. See, everybody's just quiet this morning. It's just a quiet morning. That looks very, very hot, Tom. And not the way you immediately, <laughs> you immediately thought. <laughs> It's a little warm, I won't lie, but uh, it needs to happen. I didn't dress up for Halloween, which was only a few days ago. But I made getting this out really easy because all the stuff for Halloween was already down. Donnie Herbert says, hello, hope you're doing well. Love the spacesuit. Thanks, Donnie. I am doing just fine, and thank you very much. Where are we at? We are. <laughs> what is that? Here. Well, we're not there yet. That's a different one. Cool. There, we're here. Go ahead. Build on. It's well worth it. I agree. <laughs> Thanks, man. Anyone watching, if you want to join us live and interact in real time, uh, the Hangout is posted on the Facebook group. <laughs> I just flipped over and saw <laughs> myself doing a little <laughs> shuffle there. All right. Okay. There you go. Step five. Step five. Brick. This one is a shared stand. Yes, this is a shared stand. Because both of these lovely ladies have been to space in this particular vehicle. Two of these. Yeah, for being such a small set, it's amazing how difficult it is, mm. <laughs> it is to find the pieces, isn't it? Well, that's just because mm. we're us. Is that the problem? Yeah. All right. Two. To cover up the top. One of those. And one of those. And we have a base. I'll start the shuttle over there. Yeah, I'll start the shuttle. Go for it. Do you have a chance to go see one of the original shuttles in a particular in there? Their final resting places. We saw one in uh, the one in Los Angeles. Uh, it's an amazing craft to walk underneath. You really don't get a, a sense of the scale of it. While it is small when you compare it like lengthwise to the Apollo mission, to the, the Saturn V rocket, which is just staggering in size, uh, it's still bigger than you think it would be and really, really cool up close. There's the base for the shuttle. Don't have the name plaques on there yet. Ed left, and then he came back again. Good job, Ed. I like this set. Yeah, I do too. That's cool. This one we need to display for quite some time, I think. This may have to come home and be at home instead of the house that we have at home right now. This may have to go on top of the desk. Okay. I'm done with that. Okay. What is at home right now? The deli? I think it's a deli. Yeah. Where are we? We are here. 
they are there. Draw the top for the nose. Cool. Oh, nice. The tip of the nose is a. Is that a. Looks like a fez. Do we have an orange fez in here? We have this. It's probably one of those. It's oh, a tip or a round tile. I see this one. It's black. That one looks red. I guess we'll know in a minute. We'll know in a minute. I don't know. Ooh, those are are those new parts? <laughs> These. Those are new. I mean, not brand new, but they're newish and very cool. Oh, I see. That's the top of the uh, the booster. Saw the not the SRB, the tank, the MR. No. That's, a meal <laughs> That's completely Which, different type of fuel. <laughs> I am drawing a blank on all my shuttle terms this morning. I like blue screen. It's really crooked, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yep. All right. So there's the main engine, and there's the external tank. I guess it's the ET. Then there's the solid rocket boosters. Pop off. It's upside down. Flip it up. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I to build a wing. Is it going to say times two? No. Nope. That's going to be mirrored. Does that look right? Yeah. Yep. It doesn't look right. Something's gone very wrong. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. Can't be trusted. Yeah, I screwed up something royal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's start over, Mr. Williamson. Got this one. Okay. there see it's not so hard or not so easy is it no yeah that's it oh, look it's just right on there funny if you follow the instructions it works out great you want to try the second one sure okay mess that one up too I just gotta really look at the pictures. Yep. I was distracted. That's special. I know. Cut one of these to keep everything attached together. Boat tiles. Back over. A couple jumpers. The first jumper goes on the black. It does. Yeah, the first jumper goes on the black. Did I miss something? Or, no? Okay. The cockpit. So how many shuttles are still out, like, to display for the public? Do you know? Not sure, actually. Because the one that we saw in Los Angeles was a traveling Right? No. No. It's, it's, Is it permanent there? It's permanent there. It was so still they were still building so everything. There's around one there, it. and then there's one in Florida. Almost certainly. 
Our handy team of experts with their Google skills are not with us this morning. It's true. Besides a collected piece, what would prompt someone to purchase a set? Techniques, parts, etc. Um, I think it's going to appeal to a pretty broad range of people. People who are infatuated with the space program yep. um, in terms of adults, you know, memories kind of thing. Um, I think it's going to appeal to kids aspiring to become part of the NASA program. Yep. Um, because, you know, those kids get involved in all things space history there's some how do i get there printed parts in there so there's lots of lots to appeal and it's just a really cool little set it is a cool little set and i think price point wise um a lot it's going to end up with a lot of kids a lot of kids are going to end up with this set yeah um because it's priced to where parents are going to be willing to uh pay for that without giving it a lot of hard thought yeah. Like some of the, you know, hundred plus dollar sets. You've got to really commit at that point. Yep. Ah, these are No. <laughs> okay. The engines except tanks. So these are the main engines. That's cool. Yep. It's very cool. And they move like the real ones? Just a little bit, huh? There's a little bit yeah. of play in them? There's a little bit of play in them. Cool. You can vector them. Engines on the back there. Let's see what I'm doing. External tank. I am looking for that one by two. Which one? This one. Uh, green. Oh, yep, there it is. Awesome. Dan Sabbath says, "Nice shuttle." I agree. It's pretty cool. Almost a little chibi. Hey, Will Nicholson. How's it going? Dirk Blood says, cool suit. Thanks, man. <laughs> well. Dirk, you're watching. I sent you an email. I forwarded something to you. I need you to uh, mail me back. The external tank. And for those of you who don't know, this is the part that has all the fuel in it. There's little pipes that run into there, and the fuel feeds into the jets, or the engines here. And then once you get up to space, you get rid of it. Whoops. Did you break my tank? I did. This popped off. Pull back down. Does it pop off pretty easy? So it could, third I mean, I know it's designed to be like a display, but it, it's got some playability then. Yeah, it does, it does come apart so that you can play with it. I, I took it off incorrectly. If you hold it this way and turn it sideways, it pops right off. If you grab from this, you're just going to pull off the top of the tank. A couple of solid rocket boosters. These things are essentially big metal tubes. You ever have a sparkler? You light it and you go, yeah, and you pull sparkle things. Now imagine that about what was it, 14 feet wide. Solid, nothing but that stuff. Okay. Is that actually, is that how that? 
Oh, a little gap in there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that appears to be correct. Times two. SRB. I didn't build the first one. I don't know. I don't recognize that part. Is that another new part? Yeah, it's probably not new. It's Technic. So it's probably been wow. around for a while. Looks like it's a slip joint. So I'll build one of those. Okay. Then we'll attach them. Those are pretty cool. And again, with feeling. Yes, feeling it. Sadly, I never got to see a shuttle launch. No. That's one thing me and my dad always wanted to do together. Kept talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. And sadly, he passed away before it ever got to happen. And the one opportunity I had to even see it like in real life, we were at uh, Disney World on vacation and the, there was a window where it could happen. I was out waiting for it, but it got scrapped. So, all right. So we have the solid rocket boosters made it to the external tank and all that together with the shuttle. And that connects to this. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. That's awesome. And then we have some placards for May and for Sally. Wow, got her helmet. Excellent. That's cool. And there's that one. That's really awesome. Even better if it was in focus. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. And now, on to Nancy. All the bases are kind of the same. I've got a similar at least foundation on mm -hmm. them. They're not exactly the same, but similar. I like the design on this. Yeah, I do too. This deviates from the uh, original design on Lego Ideas, but kind of like this. It how was, does it? Well, actually, I don't know how, how different they are to like little display bases. These are probably a little different. But they also had like a plaque that had all the figures on it that was all kind of built together but i can see how you'd have one or the other this is great because it all kind of combines it I can't see that it's a reflection on it. I can hold it up for you. SRBs are essentially giant bottle rockets. Same concept. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of light them and stay well back because you can't put them out. Yeah. Oh, did I do that wrong? Get a little warm. I might have done that wrong. Oh, whatever. <laughs> this goes there. That, that's right. Does it just slot in there? It just slots in there. Because I thought it attached to there. Oh, yeah. Is but then. Here, maybe? 
No, it wouldn't be. It couldn't be. It just slots in there because then that goes on oh, top of it. It's captured. Yeah. Oh, there's a cool <laughs> little building. Someone asking earlier about a cool building technique. This is actually not attached. It just slots into this little space there and is captured by this one by four plate or two by four plate. Cool. Oh. That last one, you can't see it. Oh, over here, this one? Last page, last, last step, yep. Have a picture, looks like a nebula. Something. Yep. The main feature of this is the Hubble Space Telescope, which Nancy was a key figure of. Fun fact. If you run mission space at Disney World, you pass the uh, both the Mir space station, Mirish, or no, the International Space Station, uh, but you also pass a shuttle, or the uh, Hubble telescope. I built that. I also built the Earth, which was a globe. The texture mapping on that was a real factor on that. It had to stand up to scrutiny from a very close point of view and was very difficult to make. The front of the space telescope is a trash can. <laughs> Another fun fact. <laughs> and had they not fixed it, it would still be one. Which side is it the, the side out? I don't know if you all remember that, but the uh, Hubble Space Telescope, when it went up, had a slight flaw in it and uh, was sort of blind. It needed glasses, like I do, because I'm old. And uh, they had to mount a special mission to go up and uh, add some additional optical gear to it to make it actually function. But function it did, and it has been providing amazing images ever since. Parts just keep flying at me. Well, no, I shouldn't. They shouldn't fly at you. Hmm. That's true. Mm. Got some cool little custom printed solar array tiles. Get that aligned. Where's that go? Oh, that's how it attaches. Mm -hmm. And that connects there and allows you to angle it. So it's this point in the day that you realize that you've probably made some mistakes. There's a lot of extra parts here in there. Okay, so this you get you get your choice between the clear shield and the tinted shield. No, I'm just getting an extra. Oh, oh, is that one tinted? Yeah. Okay. But this one I don't remember. Oh, you used that part there. Okay. There's just some extra parts. They're all the little naughty bits that if you drop them in the carpet, even though they tell you not to build on the carpet, um, <laughs> you, you wouldn't find. So you're seeing in here they have it facing forward and down, but on the box they have it facing backward and up. I kind of like it this direction. What do you 
think. Yep. So we'll put Nancy on there. And we have a Hubble Space Telescope. And Nancy Roman. And a smattering of leftover parts, including a bar. This is the one that makes me suspicious. The rest of those I could see getting an extra of. Is this a new part? No. I think it is. I think it's not. I think it is. I think it's not. Is this a Audience? new part? Fairly new. For sure. A little smattering of extra parts there, including a bar that I'm a little suspicious of. Well, it says that we're only supposed to have one of those. Really? No. So it's just an extra. It's a spare. Cool. Okay. Let's put all three of these on display. I want to send a big shout out to one female uh, space figure that is not featured in this set, Krista McAuliffe. Rest in peace. Uh, teacher. Sure. Her mom was a teacher. And uh, we were big fans of the space shuttle program. And we got the news of that. It's heartbreaking. So, this is a cool set. Yes, this is an exceptionally cool set. A solid five out of five. Yep. Yes. Great job, Maya and team. Um, this is fantastic. Yep. Very cool. And I think we'll sign off before I pass out from the heat. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> Go get yourself a set. See you on the next one. <laughs>